everybody. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Today we're gonna be making a fun little treat that you can give to coworkers, friends, family, um, or just put out at a party even. We're gonna be making heart-shaped candy cane suckers. For this project, you will need aluminum foil, some decorative plastic Christmas bags, mini candy canes, sprinkles, white chocolate candy melts, sucker sticks, a microwave safe bowl, and I've chosen a small one so that I can work with a small amount of chocolate, and a knife, and a toaster oven. I've already lined my toaster oven pan with foil. Let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is unwrap your candy canes and lay them out two right next to each other in the shape of a heart with your stick in between them. Make sure you have foil underneath so that they won't stick to the pan. I am now going to put them in my toaster oven. My toaster oven is set at 250 degrees and I am going to leave them in there for about 10 minutes I just wanna make them soft enough that I can shape them a little bit better to the sticks at the bottom in the shape of a heart. All right, the suckers are in the toaster oven. They're just about finished. They're finishing up um, and getting soft quicker than I thought. It's actually probably only gonna take about eight minutes. So let's check them and see if they're soft enough to form to the stick. Next, I'm ready to melt my chocolates. I've put a handful of the chocolate pieces into a microwave safe bowl. I'm going to put them in the microwave for one minute at 50% power. And I'm going to take them out and stir them. After that, I'll put them in for an additional 30 seconds if necessary. We have a perfect chocolate consistency. Be sure not to overcook your chocolate because it burns quickly. So make sure you're checking on it and stirring it regularly. But then immediately you're gonna wanna go ahead and start pouring your chocolate into the center of your candy canes. And fill them all the way in. These are going to make a delicious treat. Make sure you put plenty of chocolate in because you're going to need to have something for the sprinkles to stick to. While they're still nice and wet, I'm gonna take my sprinkles. And cover them. And then I'm just gonna push them down a little bit just to make sure they stick. Now I'm gonna put my suckers in the refrigerator so they can harden for a few minutes. My suckers have hardened perfectly, so now I'm going to put them in little plastic clear bags first to protect them before I wrap them in my holiday bags. But look how cute they turned out. They turned out so cute. 
I hope that they are as delicious as they are cute. I know they will be. So I'm gonna tie a little ribbon around to hold the bags on. And just tie them in a bow. And then I'm gonna slip them down into my gift giving bag. they're all wrapped individually so that when my friends take them out they're easy to enjoy I've slipped them down inside their candy bag tied a ribbon around them the sticks are sticking out the top which is so cute and now these are ready for gift giving I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoy making these delicious candy cane suckers for your friends, coworkers, anyone, or even to just put out at a party because they're so pretty. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!